Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Today is Saturday, guys, and it's around 5.10. And I'm just um, coming on because I'm going to be getting dinner going, trying to decide what I was going to make, and I just came up with this idea in my head that, um, that I'm going to make. Um, it's just me, Frankie, and Bill, of course, the three of us. Um, and, um, yeah, so I want to get started. So what I'm going to do is I, I want to make this dish with boneless chicken thighs. Um, I really didn't want chicken, but I'm like, oh, I have it. I might as well, I have to use what I bought to cook, so, uh, tonight. So, you know, I wanted to use, uh, make it, make, what I'm saying is I have to eventually use it, so I'm gonna, I, I want, I'm gonna make chicken tonight, guys. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, so I'm gonna make this roasted pepper creamy cheese, cream cheese kind of, like, sauce that goes over the chicken, and then I'm gonna make a little mashed potatoes with it, and I'm gonna, um, put it over the mashed potatoes and put like um, mozzarella on top with the, top of the creamy sauce or something. I have it all in my head and I know exactly what I want to do. So let me get gather up everything and get started. Be right back. All right, guys. So we went out today. We had to go to the pharmacy. Okay, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing? Look what he does. He knocks over the stuff when he wants to. He's telling me he wants to eat. Any um, yams for me this week? Forgot to get yams. This picture's over here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something, guys. Let me show you something one second. Um, I'm just cutting these up quick because I'm gonna put them. cook these for Cooper. I should have put them in this freaking, that was dumb. I have the, the crock pot going with, with chicken legs for him. I should have put the carrots in there with him, with that. Stupid. That was really, really dumb of me to not do. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do now. I have to get some things going here because I got a lot of things going on. All right, let's get the sausages in oh, everything just gonna come flying out of here uh well, if i don't get myself organized I, I, I don't know what i'm doing with myself i really don't i really don't i don't know why i don't get myself organized do you know because i don't all the noise. Let's put this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, um, I'm going to microwave these potatoes in the microwave, obviously, for a few minutes just to soften them up and then I'm going to boil them. Oh, now you're eating your other food? Mommy's making your other food. What are you doing? I mean, you ate today. Why are you acting so hungry? I don't know what he's doing, really. I'm going to put these... I should have did this earlier. Sometimes I don't think... What are you gonna do? You're not perfect. Oh, I gotta plug in my um, iPad, otherwise it's gonna be died. So anyway, you see this stuff on the counter here. Uh, Billy and I had to go out today to the um, pharmacy. Um, little did we know, they had the community garage sale this week and we didn't even know it. So, I wasn't really feeling, 
feeling it. Not in a great mood. I don't know. Not feeling life right now. Trying my best, guys. And so he got me found on a stop there. We don't have any money, you know. I mean, when I say that, we have, you know, five dollars or ten dollars, some change or whatever. And um, but so anyway, we stopped by one or two of them, and I'm so glad we did because even though you don't have a lot of money. Garage sales, you can spend a dollar and feel good, you know? So, guys, we saw this. The lady wanted $5 for it. What do we get it for, two? Three. $3 we got it for. I need this for my fruits because I got two of them hanging out over there. And, I, I mean, it's kind of small. But for three bucks, so cute, right? So we did a little garage so sale um, therapy, you know. Garage sale therapy. Yeah, I got 12 books, reading books for a dollar. Let me turn these around. Real books, guys, real books. Why is it so blurry? Thing dirty. Let me fix this a minute. All right, guys. There we go. I got 12 books for a dollar. Look at this. I'm so excited because, you know, I, I just ended a book that I was reading on, on my iPad. I love my iPad. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's great. But I'm a book person. Like, I like to sit with a book. I really do. And this lady was selling these books for friggin' God. For a dollar, I was like, "Oh my god!" So I went through them and I got a whole. Bu I got twelve guys. So excited about that! So 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 excited. So I wanted to show you guys. I'll let you know which one I start, when I start it, and how it is. Don't you worry. All right. So I microwave these partially, and they're almost done. I don't even know if I should really. Cook them anymore. I think they're done. I don't even think I have to boil them. Sometimes I make mashed potatoes like that, guys. I just do in the I do them in the microwave. I'm wondering if I should not do that. If I shouldn't cook them anymore. Or maybe put them in the microwave just for a couple more minutes. I think that's what I'm gonna do. What should I do? You're asking me? I'm gonna have my bag out of here. I'm on the table. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, guys. Don't touch that with that pot. Um, save that pot there for a minute. All right. Let me get my stuff together. My head is like going crazy right now. All right. So what I'm going to do, guys, this is the, this is the, this is the decision that I made. I'm going to peel these, peel the skins like this. All right. Just get all the skins off. And then I'm going to put it in the bowl. And then when I'm ready to mash them up, I'll microwave them just for a couple more minutes. And then just mix them right in the bowl. Because I cooked them anyway. I should have just cooked them. I should have just left them. Cooked them totally. Hey. What are you doing, bad boy? That's what I'm going to do. Sometimes you can do things. You can, you have, you know, you can do things differently. You don't have to do them like you always do them or other people do them. You do them the way you do them. And this is, like I said, this is how I've done them before. I've done them like this before on a quick thing, you know. It's getting all the potato. I don't want to miss any of the potato. So, ow. They're still a little hot to the touch. So I'll just 
Cooper, what are you doing? Sometimes Cooper can get into stuff like he's a puppy again. You know, and he's four, like, you know. Hey. Yeah, they're, they're basically done, guys. They really are. So yes, yeah, so I got. I'm gonna make this this pepper this pepper sauce. I don't know why I got. I just was sitting outside when we were just hanging out, and I'm like, ooh. I'm like, what am I gonna make for dinner? I didn't really have any. I didn't really want chicken, but I'm like, oh, I can make something. I saw some something online yesterday that just kind of caught my eye, and I'm just gonna try to re. I'm just gonna try to um, make it as I, as I saw it. You know what I mean? And that's what that's what cooking's about. You know? You wanna go out? You know experimenting and trying different things and everything. There's no cooking police, you know. If it doesn't work out, I mean, it doesn't have to taste a certain way because nobody's expecting it's a new, if it's a new recipe, nobody knows the difference, you know what I mean? As long as it's good, it doesn't have to turn out like how you thought, or how you thought it might, you know. If it's, if it's still good, then that's all that matters, even if it doesn't turn out the way you perceived it. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. Oh, God. Sometimes I just can't find my words. You want to go out, yes or no? I don't have time for your games. I don't know what he's doing. I really don't. I don't know what he wants. He wants to go out. So he goes to the door. We go to the door to let him out, and he stands there, and, and then he turns around and comes back. I don't know what he's doing. Like, get it together, puppy. So, it's either, it, 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 this is time consuming, but it's either time consuming before you, um, you can peel the potatoes beforehand or after. I've done it both ways. I, I normally peel them and then just put them in the, in the water, you know. But, tonight, I just decided to do it a different way. And like I said, doesn't matter so I don't know I'm just going with my motivation I, I didn't really think I was into cooking tonight and filming then and all of a sudden I just feel better when it changes and, and, and I'm motivated so I do what I, I do you know how I feel guys that's what I do and so that's what's going on um, so yes I'm excited about the books so excited. So, so excited. So, I'm going to put them in my closet and stack them up. And just read them as I go. Read them as I want. I mean, there's a lot of books there. It'll take me a long time, but it, it might not. Like, I, I, when I get into a book, if, I, if, if it's a book I like... I can read it in three days, not even. I mean, I really can. It's just a matter of um, reading when I'm not sleepy. Because if I'm tired and I read at night, which I like to do and tend to do sometimes, I, um, I fall asleep. So I try to read more in the evening, in the early evening, um, you know, rather than at night. But it, it, it all depends. I could be le reading in the middle of the day and fall asleep and take a nap, so... It's the same stuff, so it doesn't matter. Whenever, whatever it is, it is. All right, guys. So there we go. That's plenty of potatoes for me and Bill because Frankie's not having mashed potatoes. He wants rice with his. So that's plenty of potatoes for me and Bill. That was three potatoes. Three, like, medium-sized potatoes. That'll be enough and probably a little left over. All right. I got to get the peppers out. I'm going to get my chopper because I'm going to use... Um,
get the peppers going. All right, so let's cut um, a pepper up. I'm gonna use one red pepper. The other I wanna save. Every part of the pepper you can use. All right, let me get the chopper. The chicken's not going to take long either at all. I don't even think I'm going to cut the chicken. I'm just going to, you know defat it a little bit probably just a little and um, just put it in the pan like that so this is like like my own creation guys like you know one thing you'll see here on Lin create with Linda is cr my own creation I'm not good at following the recipe I will and for baking of course I have to but I like doing my own stuff Some of my friends will say to me, I don't, why do you use a recipe you never follow it? And they're right. I just don't. It's not something that, no. That's just how I roll, guys. I might use to um, I might use to peppers because I'm making a sauce and I'm making some peppers to slice peppers on it. guys so um, I put a little I added a little bit of water to this I'm going to season it up now I have a vision here um, that I'm going for so just bear with me onion powder garlic powder you know this is create with Linda guys create we're creating <laughs> um so garlic powder so this is garlic powder um I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning in here. Some parsley. I might even run out to my garden and pick a little parsley for this dish um, and, and basil. I have a little, I have basil coming up too, um, but I'm gonna see. Uh, where's the freaking pepper? Okay. Pepper. Um, Let's see, is that's what I want to put in there. So I put garlic powder, onion powder, 
basil, I mean, um, Italian seasoning, pepper, salt, and I put, um, yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit of Danos in there. Just a little bit. And a little bit of Mrs. Dash because I don't wanna go overboard on the salt, like I said. Okay. Um, so I'm going to blend this a little bit more and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to put in a couple of garlic, garlic, um, cloves too, you know, I think I'll put two in and then I'm going to put, um, two in the pan or a few in the pan. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Let's put two in here. I think I'll put a, a little piece of onion in here, too. Even though I'm going to put onion in the, in the other, too. I'll show you what I mean when I when I'm when I do it. Yeah, that's good with the onion. see what it tastes like now I think what I'm gonna do is when I put it into the pan I'm gonna I wanted to get it more like thinner but it doesn't seem to want to chop up anymore so mmm that's really good so I think what I'll do is I will add water and a little bouillon to it to get it, you know, flavored up a little bit more and do that. So, yeah. And to, and to stretch it a little bit. It needs to be stretched just a little bit. All right, so let's just get this onion. I mean, this garlic. Smash it with your knife like that. And the skin comes off very easily. So this will be for the rest. Put these over here. This is why I love this thing, guys. I'm telling you. My husband got it for me on Amazon. I absolutely love it. It's like a little garbage can here. You keep here. And it take, you got all your, put all your scraps in here. It's awesome. Alright, let's just cut up. I'm going to cut up a... Um, I'm just trying to think, should I do that? Or I really have this? Yeah, I'll cut up half of this. Yeah. See how convenient this thing is, guys? I'm telling you, it was so cheap, too. I don't even know how much. I think it was under $20. I really do. When he got it for me. gonna cut these in thin slices and then I'll cut some onion up in thin slices
So. So just cutting up this garlic. Got some onion there too. <laughs> it's all right. And we're garlic people, guys, as you can see. You know. So let me get the pan and I want to get the pan that I'm um, going to use that it has the cover. So let me just move you. All right. All right, people. So I'm going to um, put this pan on here. I'm going to use this pan. I'm going to, um, I'm going to cook the, start cooking the, um, the peppers and the onions in here. I'll show you some olive oil. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut up the rest of this um this pepper, guys. All right. Just got a phone call. Let's take this off, and now what we'll do is we'll put the onions and the peppers. I'm gonna try to leave as much of the garlic out right now as I can. But. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the cream cheese, add on it to the sauce once I cook it. So I'm going to cook these at a really high heat and just get these cooking. And then I'll add the garlic. Uh, and then I'll, we'll start with the, getting the chicken ready. Or well, like I said, I'm just going to take the chicken out, defat it quick, you know, get some of the fat off of it that needs to be cut, taken off, and then put it in here. But I want to um, let this cook a little bit just so the peppers cook down a little bit. Yeah. So I got, um, I'm using what I got, of course. That's what I'm doing, guys, using everything I got. So I got half of a cream cheese here. Okay, I'm gonna use that, and then I'm gonna cut half of this one open. I'm not, I don't need, I don't need um, one and a half, I just need one. So um, I'm just gonna utilize it like that. And, um, you know, Trying to do my best to stretch meals as best as I can and, you know, not make an over amount. And even if we do make an over amount, the stuff that I make a little bit more of is stuff that we eat. Like the pasta I made the other night, we ate it. Like Billy had some yesterday, you know, so it's more than, it's just about gone. So that's what, that's what we're doing, guys. I'm really, you know, um... Utilizing everything out of my pantry and my arsenal because I have to. And even if I didn't have to, have to, I still would do that. That's the purpose of it. You know? So. All right. Um, let me show you over here now. All right. So I got two cream cheese. 
cream cheese is like, I got one, one eight ounce together of cream cheese. Yeah. Okay. This we'll put aside. All right. I'm not putting the garlic in yet because I don't want it to burn. But this is what I'm going to do with the, with the chicken. I'm going to cut it. Cut it in half. Cut some of the fat. Just a little bit of the fat. Pretty good. It doesn't have that much fat on it. But like I said, on the thighs, I don't mind a little bit of fat because that's what thighs are made of. You know, but not made of, but thighs, um, you know, they have fat on them because they're dark meat and they're delicious. They're, they're delicious, they're tender, they're um, tasty, so... Scissors. I don't even think this is the right scissor, but get flies, flies get in. I got those, I gotta get those fly strips just because when you open the door, the flies come in and out. I can't stand flies, can't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do one more, a small one. So let's put these over here now to the side. Wash my hands. that piece of fat All right. All right. Um, let's get you over here and look at the, we'll look at the peppers. Let's put the chicken in. Uh, let me get the little thing so I don't have to touch my hands with it. Right. 
All right. Let's season this up. I always think the ranch is, is Dano's. The ranch, I mean, the ranch. The ranch. So I'm gonna season this with some Dano's. Okay. And I'm just gonna do one side because there's gonna be a lot of seasoning in this dish. There's a lot of seasoning in the pepper sauce and everything else. So, and so this is dash. So I don't have to add salt. And let this cook up. And then we're going to add the, the pepper sauce to this after this is all done. You know, after the chicken is just about, just about cooked. Guys, I'm gonna turn it over now. Start turning it over. Stick it a little bit. That's all right. Probably should have took the peppers out, but well, I did this, but that's all right. Because I had the flame a little high, guys, because I wanted them to get, you know. Get that little, um, what is it? You know, charred. let it fry up a little bit longer and then I'm going to put the sauce in and start doing that. I'm microwaving the um, the potatoes right now to get them soft and uh, yeah. really good guys. A little bit more onion powder. And garlic powder. Now there's all kinds of stuff on the bottom here. When I put the when I when I get it liquidy, I'm gonna scrape off, but it's all scraping off. See all that? That guys is all flavor. Oh, I didn't put the garlic in there. I'm gonna put the garlic in right now. That's all flavor. Guys. That all comes out as flavor. I know, doesn't it? It's gonna go in your belly when it's done. You weren't hungry? 
Yeah. We ate a late lunch, guys. We've been eating lately. We've been either skipping lunch or just having something little. But we ate a late lunch today. Again, yesterday we did as well. Doesn't matter. We have time. You know. So I'm just gonna let the garlic roast up a little bit, and then I'm gonna add. I'm gonna start adding the um, the roasted pepper, the, the pepper sauce. I have two little cloves of garlic here that will definitely get lost in the shuffle. So I'm just going to put them in there because I'd rather use it than waste it. So Mmm, guys, smells so good. All right, let's get going. This tastes really good. Mmm, so yummy. I think they're gonna like it, the guys. <clears throat> Probably should have made a little bit more of it, but I'm trying to, you know, not use all my peppers at one thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this out. So that's why I get all those flavors. And add about that much water. And I'm probably going to add the rest of the water, guys. Because my family, they're, you know, they're, they like saucy stuff. So let's put this on here. Let this, I'm going to let this simmer for probably like five minutes on medium. And then we'll get going on making the rest of adding the cream cheese and all of that to it. Um... Yeah, and I'll chat while we'll while we're waiting for that to get done. So, so you guys all know, you know, the situation with us now, um, with Billy, you know, out of work and all that, and the whole disability story and and all of that, no money coming in and everything else for a, a, you know a month and a half. Um, one second. So, um, I was been, I've been hemming and hawing a little bit about, you know, um, uh, talking about certain things that we have been doing or, or to happening or whatever, only because it's my own, it's my own insecurity. Like I, I never feel, I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah. There are people out there who judge and who, um, you know, who will say something about anything. And, you know, when you do YouTube, you have to have a thick skin. If you don't have a thick skin, then you, you're not going to do good. You're, you're not, not that you're not going to do good. You're going to do good. But you're not going to be able to handle the scrutiny that you sometimes get when you put yourself out there. Um, I have spoke about this millions of times on my channel. You know, um, and people have criticized me. People have, you know, said stuff. And, and, and it is what it is. Everybody has their own opinion. Everybody you know, can think what they want to think and know what they think they think is right and true and all this other stuff. It doesn't matter. Anyway, what I, by saying that, what I'm trying to say is that I, um, you know, being on YouTube is not easy. It's, it's very, you have to put yourself out there. And then when you do, you have to, you have to know that there are going to be people that say mean things and, and all that stuff, and you know, and I've come to terms with all that, and that's fine, and, and dandy, and whatever they want to think. If they don't like what I what I produce or what I show, then move on to another channel. Just like you know, I was talking about the other night, the the lady who throws who throws her food. Listen, if you don't like it, and this, this lady was complaining about, 
I can't stand watching you throw your food. Well, if you don't like her throwing her food and you know that she throws the food in the cart or whatever in her house while she's cooking, why do you watch her? Move on then if that's not something you want to see. You know, it's all relative, guys, and it's all what... There, there are lots of YouTubers to watch out there. If you don't like one thing, you move on to another, whatever. But what I'm trying to say is that it, it's hard to put yourself out there. And I was hemming and hawing about, should I, should I mention this? And, and I think I come to the realization that I should because even though I might myself be embarrassed about it, and it's nothing to be embarrassed for, it really isn't because we've utilized it for a lot of times when we lived in Florida and just when we really needed to. And that's what it's there for. It's not there to be abused. Okay, just to interrupt for a minute. As the this is simmering, I'm scraping the bottom of this pan because all that yumminess, guys, that was on the pan is coming off now and going into the yumminess, okay? That's what's happening. All right, so the chicken, I don't want to overcook the chicken or anything. You really can't, I mean, you can, but if you burn it, but I think it's, I think it's, it's good. So I'm going to put the, um, the cream cheese in here. So what was I, where, where was I? Oh, so I, you know, I've utilized it um, before when really, 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 we've been desperate in, in Florida and just, yeah, never in New York we have, have we had to. Um, oh, but, but, but we did, um, we did get um, snack, you know, like, like food stamps had, when we first moved back to New York. We, we did have those for a little while. Anyway, what I'm saying is I... I went to, um, I, I tried for a uh, for snack, which is food stamps, because I figured, you know, we need it. I mean, we definitely need it. I do have stock in my refrigerator and in my pantry, but there are things that I need that I'm not going to be able to get, you know, again, or whatever, for a while. So, I don't know, I hope this is enough cream cheese. I want it to be really creamy. Um, so, anyway, I applied for... Um, snack and um they sent me the letter they sent me this letter and i have to get all this information together and i missed the deadline and so i gotta start again with that and so I, I i needed some things you know that i didn't you know want to use the little cash that i did have for certain things so we went we looked up there's a number you can call to look up food banks and food pantries and all that and so we did that so the other day we went and um we went and it was a beautiful place and really, really welcoming and very, very, very nice. And we went there and we got some stuff. We got produce, we got canned items, we got um, one thing of, of taco meat that's frozen, that's in the freezer. We got, um, what else did we get? We got a lot of, we got, you could choose bread. So I chose a couple of breads that I have to, I'm, I'm gonna utilize and just, just a few things just to stock up. I'm not buying stock and I'm not, you know, uh, I'm just buying the things as we go along and the things that we need and all that. So the, the, so the money that the cash that we do have from people who have helped us and have been helping us and stuff from YouTube and all that. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to put the names up on here. Um, I, I appreciate all of you so much. All of you, even people who just give me words of a current what words of encouragement nothing monetarily i don't i don't care i i love all of you i appreciate all of you and thank all of you and um so yeah so that helps with that because then this way you know i um i could buy you know a little bit of paper towels or stuff like that 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 i don't have to buy the food with so you know it just helps all around you know but I felt a little odd sharing it. I just don't want people to judge me, and, and it's okay. It's okay. You know, like, it's okay to do that. And nobody, you know, everybody needs help once in a while. And you go there only when you're desperate and you need the help. If you don't need the help, you don't need the help, you don't go, obviously. So, yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys that, that, that I did get some stuff from the food bank, and I will show, it, show you stuff that we have left. At some point, mm. that's really good. Really good. I'm gonna lower the flame now. It 
So, so good. Mm. I think I'm gonna run out to the to the to the garden. I'm gonna run out to my garden because it needs it needs a little pot, maybe a little even a little bit of lemon, a drop of lemon, and some basil and parsley. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here's my parsley and my basil. This is my first cut of these things. I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna use a little bit. I don't need a lot, but I got some parsley. I'm not gonna take that much basil because obviously I don't have that much basil there. But whatever it is, it's enough. All right. And of course, yes, I will rinse these off. All right, that's good. Mm. Let's get a little bit more. Happy dance. Happy, happy dance. Okay, just a little bit of basil. But basil, you don't need a lot of either. Basil is like, you know, oh, I love having fresh basil. Oh my goodness, love it. Oh my God, it smells so good. By the way, Linda might be going away for a while. <laughs> Just for a little while. They're coming to take her away. Ha ha ho ho. <laughs> All right. Okay, I lost the piece. Where'd it go? Right here. Where? On this side of the... This? Yeah, right here. Yeah. That's it. Oh. I don't know. I saw Are something crazy? green. I'm a little crazy. All right, guys. Okay. <laughs> and there's a koopy butt. All right. There's a fire pit for later. Yeah, we're gonna do a fire pit, guys. Come on, Coops. Keep going or what? No, you can start now. You, you sure? All right, guys. I'm gonna rinse this off, the parsley and the basil. And I'm going to do the mashed potatoes after this. And then we're going to be ready to eat. I'm going to put some provolone on top of that, I think. I'm going to shred a little bit of, not shred, I have the slices of the provolone. I'm going to put some provolone in there at the last minute. Guys, are you, where, where are you going? Hey, where's, where's... <sighs> this freaking thing. Maybe right for all right, people, so I got the sliced provolone out. Got these at Aldi. I'm just gonna cover it up with the provolone. I'm gonna put it on the, on the back plane and put it low just for a couple of seconds. Just so that can melt. Where are you, Frank? Oh. Um, all right, guys, and I'll show you it when it's melted. All right, guys, so the potatoes are done. I microwave them. I'm putting butter. The chicken is melting. Yeah, the cheese is melting. Where's this? Freaking. Why? What are you looking for? Just wait a second. The pepper is right there in the hand. I know where the pepper's right here, knuckle. Frankie butt. A blender, but I'm not gonna get the blender out right now. God, I hope I didn't put too much milk in here. I hope not, too, Linda. Make it too soupy. That won't be enough. 
I have more milk, William. That's what Frankie calls his father, William, guys. I'm sure he's got some other names, but we can't say them on here. It's a, it's a rated V, so, guys. Well, we can make it extra rated. I want to keep my standing on No, you don't want to do that. Are you taking a drink break? Yeah. <coughs> sometimes the crystal light goes like through my throat. Maybe sometimes it's not mixed enough. I don't know. I think the powder like. Home cooking, guys. Home freaking cooking. Let me taste it. Oh my god, that looks so good. The chicken. <laughs> Love when I'm feeling it, guys. Love when I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. mm. Guys, it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank God I took the rest of that milk out. I'm going to show you the chicken, guys. Guys, look at this. Does that look amazing? Okay, I'm going to get my plate and I'm going to taste it for you in front of you guys. So exciting. Yeah. Oh, wait, one thing. All right, Jenny just called. Interrupted us. But here we go, guys. Look. Look at that. Frankie's going to say, what's with the grass? He always says that. What are you putting grass on it for? I said, you know what? When I put the grass on, you love it. So don't even start. <laughs> there we go, guys. Oh, my goodness. Yum. Oh, I'm going to taste it for you. Be back in a sec. Want to see Koopy? Hi, Cooper. Hi, Cooper. Brody's coming next week, well, on Tuesday for a whole, like, week, guys. So, Koopy's going to be in his glory. Mostly. <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. The, the, the chicken's on top of the mashed potatoes with the sauce. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. I'm going to turn yours around and taste it. All right, guys, here we go. I got a piece of the chick chicken, the cheese okay, on top. Yours. What? Mmm, a provolone. Oh my god. Now, I have a salt. I need a little salt. Because I didn't add any salt. No, I didn't. Mmm, a chicken. Let me taste the, the pepper sauce. What do you think of the sauce, honey? Oh, well, it's great. I love it. Cheese sauce there. Oh my God. That's so good. And with the addition of the, the basil and the, and the parsley, it just takes it over the top. Yum. Oh, guys. I haven't done one of these in a while. Mm, delicious. Really happy with it, guys. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're interested in this recipe, give me a give me a, a shout, and I will um, write it down for you somewhere, you know, in the, in the description or whatever, because it's very simple ingredients. All right, guys. 
I love you. Don't forget to hit that subscribers button because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow. Don't forget to hit the notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. And guys, thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and, and creating. And just know, guys, that, that there's no shame in asking for help when you need help. So if you need help, go out there and get it, guys, okay? Um, and that's it. So we'll see you on the next. Don't forget to get your, your pet spayed or neutered. Don't forget to get your pet spayed or neutered. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Love you.